We're here today to talk to you about our three auctions coming up this uh, this week in December. So we've got uh, we've got coins collectors, military and toys. That's one auction. We have Christmas luxuries and gifts with uh, with watches, the silver and jewellery, and then we have antiques and interiors uh, and wine as well. So this is the cell room, all looking nice and festive. But check this out. You know. I feel like celebrating already. We've got a magnum of champagne and look at the lovely pair of Campana shaped uh, silver plated wine coolers. Wine coolers sort of four to 500 pounds. The, the Moe, actually I'm not a great fan of Moe, I've got to be honest with you, but that's probably around about 40 or 50 pounds. Three, we've got rocking horses, the perfect present to, uh, to, to give your grandchild. And I say that because normally, because it's only the grandparents who can afford the big houses to keep them in. Esmet on the old Dobbo there, probably around about 100 pounds. We've got Dobbo's mate over here, which actually I think I slightly prefer with this lovely uh, uh, decoration. And uh, he's got a, <laughs> looks like it's cut off your hair, um, Phil. Uh, and around about another 100 pounds on that. But down through here, we've got the usual smattering of furniture. We've got lots of long case clocks. We've got mirrors, a whole load of chairs, settees, mule chests, campaign chests, more long case clocks here. This is this is one of my favorite pieces in the sale. Uh, an Indo-Portuguese contador here, profusely inlaid. This is all bone. This is not dead elephant. It's not ivory. All inlaid with bone. Lovely sort of a barn fresh condition. It's on that sort of three or four hundred pounds. Another chest, three to four hundred pounds. This wonderful plan chest. The client, uh, local client, has uh, is, is moving, uh, moving over to Marlborough. And look at this. We've got a lot of musical instruments, and I do love the tone of this. Roll out the barrel. We'll have a barrel of fun. I mean, I'm not going to give it the day job. Uh, one to two hundred pounds. Uh, we've got our military section. Um, got a lot of edged weapons, uh, and also, oh yes, of course, we've got our lay something something for the ladies as well. The Manolo Blahnik shoes. There we are. Um, uh, Cinderella, you will go to the ball, providing I think you're a very small foot. Mulberry bags, osprey, uh, lots of. This is all in our Christmas gifts. So there we are. If you've got a small shoe, uh, maybe some, maybe a little something for the weekend, sir. I know. So there, those are some fashion items and as I say over here we've got the, 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 the items the, the man antiques the boys toys really nice second world war era cookery um, this is not a tourist one I love the painted camouflage decoration that'll do quite a few hundred pounds we've got German hunting hangers here we are very very typical with the shell and the horn handle we've got First World War, Second World War. We've got a fan gr fantastic little group of medals as well. And what is particularly interesting about this group of medals is the middle of the Queen, South Africa, which it says, I don't know if you can see it there, Defence of Kimberley. So Kimberley was a, a, De, Be a De Beers mine and about a thousand people were laid uh, at siege by the Boers. And uh, that's, that's a nice group of medals directly from the family, sort of around about eight to 1200 pounds. A little bit more and quite a big one is unusually, this is not a silver plated tray. This is a huge, great, big silver tray um, comes in about 153 ounces uh, I don't know what it is in pounds but whatever it is it's very heavy imagine bringing Christmas turkey in on that on Christmas day um, over here we have thousands of stamps huge collections of stamps we have militaria lots of coins and bits and pieces um, and as it's our, uh, our, our sort of one of the auctions is Christmas so we've got a lovely selection of watches we've got a really nice collection of watches coming from a client over in Ireland these have come over from Ireland this is a, a Rolex Alex um uh, Kermit with the, uh, the, the the green rotating bezel box and papers there we are s one of that 10 to 14,000 but one watch which I think is just really really nice is this is this Hewer. Um, it's an 18 karat gold it's a sort of it's a re-release but it's 18 karat gold chronograph and the s one that is between sort of two and a half and three thousand pounds as I say it's got its box and papers all the bits and pieces again to make a fantastic present retail on that I mean it's probably going to be approaching today sort of eight nine thousand pounds but if watches aren't your bag, we do, as we know, we do like jewellery and we do like jewellery in a box. There we go. And what better Christmas present to give someone than a spider brooch? Um, there we go. It's nine karat gold, I think. And you've got little amethyst and little uh, little peridot there. Esmet on that beautiful little Edwardian piece, sort of between 150 and 200 pounds. Again, another little box lot. Again, we do like a bit of boxing. Here we are. And is is an opal and diamond ring. Esmet on that, sort of three to 500 pounds. However, if you kind of want to go out and blow the budget, we've got this, which is a, an, a diamond tennis bracelet, which I know you know. It's around about 18 carats of diamonds uh, on this. 
and uh, that will grace any lady's wrist, I'm sure. Um, I'm not quite certain it's going to grace Mrs. B's wrist this Christmas. Um, and uh, the estimate on that is around about seven to nine thousand pounds, but it's eighteen carat of diamonds. Um, also another couple of things which is quite nice again a lovely study of a, a horse's head this is in bronze S sort of that sort of three to four hundred pounds and also from a client down in Devon we've got a collection of tea caddies I'm always I always like tea caddies lovely little bits of furniture really this is a George III one it's veneered in satin wood it's got this uh, acanthus leaf inlaid decoration a little bit of damage but they always do S sort of that probably sort of 150 pounds so really quite a that's Santa this is the one I want um, uh, on through into the back cell room we've got lots of clocks Lots of clocks, a uh, big collection of clocks, predominantly from a client over uh, over near Salisbury. We've got wall clocks through into the back in here. We've got bracket clocks, and particularly nice bracket clocks, sort of three to four thousand. This is a great thing. What a great name, Spend Love. I mean, that's a very, <laughs> maybe that should have gone to Woodstock. Uh, a very large, unusually large uh, fusée movement and case there, sort of seven to nine hundred. Uh, through here, more wall clocks. We've got GPO wall clocks. We've got lantern clocks. Here we go. Uh, we've got automata clocks. This is quite fun. Uh, the, the chap, he pops out the, the door there and rings the bell. That's a little bit of fun. More wall clocks. We've got bracket clocks. There we go. It's a nice... Um, 18th century bracket clock, Edwardian ones, Victorian ones, uh, four pillar glass ones. Also on this side, we've got copper and brass and figures and bits and pieces. Um, up through here, another bracket clock. And usually it's a, this is a Victorian one. And usually it's been a walnut case. We've got French ones here. You see that little, little jeweled pendulum that sort of swings around. That's a, that's a seven to nine hundred pounds. We've got mystery clocks, um, rolling ball clocks. On through the corner here, we've got lots of toys, models and bits and pieces. Uh, we've got electric clocks as well. The Eureka. Uh, these, these are pretty unusual, pretty rare clocks. I've only had a handful of these. Let's put on these two here between sort of eight and twelve hundred pounds and what else do we have we have bolly darling we have bollinger we have bollinger we have champagne we have claret we have whiskies we have a uh, whiskies big and small i mean come, come on no this is a this is a this is a, a private party in the making isn't it there we are that's a hangover in waiting we've also got a very fine bottle of bowmore whiskey in here in its box as well that's the uh, the bicentenary year one estimate on the bowmore a lot of people collect the whiskey around about the 14 to 1800 pounds uh again we've got magnums of 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 wine here we are um so again really really nice selection of wine port and whiskey and ending up here with a couple of dimple bottles i don't know what is about dimple bottle but people have the dimple whiskey never actually open it so we're, we're always quite happy to sell it so there's a bit of a quick walk and a talk through the three auctions coming up on the sale in december the second and third